My soul is an enchanted boat, which like a sleeping swan doth float upon the silver waves of thy sweet singing, and thine doth like an angel sit beside and him conducting it, whilst all the winds with melody are ringing. It seems to float ever, forever, upon thy many winding river. I lived in a, a German town at the base of uh, the hill. There was a castle and there was a little pool there. And it was, you know, I'd pass it at least twice a day. And it had this, this swan that would come up to me um, and, as I mentioned, would, would leave the, the people who were feeding it bread and I'd pull up on the other end of the parking lot and it would just take off and come land by me. And, uh, you know, I got, I was able to get up close to it and, and study it and really, you know, see the color of the eyes even. And uh, it kind of it kind of made me, made me think about it. Fairy tale type stories, you know, um, of something being imprisoned inside something else, something being transformed. You got the ugly duckling, which is a swan, you know. That was the, the real inspiration, that, that close interaction with it. That meant to me more than any, any other, you know, creature, I guess, at the time. So, somebody said, You want to do it? I said, Yes. So. That's one of the things I like about it is the indestructibility. Most everything that you're working with. <laughs> Compared to like ceramics, like ceramics, but my ceramics things break. So that's probably just me. Between mountains, woods, abysses, a paradise of wildernesses. The poem was something when I was searching for a uh, kind of, I wouldn't say a, a sign or a, a necessarily deciding factor, but asking God, what could I do that wouldn't be so much about me? You know, because to me, the ultimate artist is God. You know, it's already been done. You just reinterpret it and spit it out in a way that other people might like. Like this, I, I wouldn't have been able to know that the metal is not going to flip out. This poster board just laid out and made a nice little, you know, round bill and did everything perfect. But can't depend on that. So now that we got it real, I'm going to go in here and grind out some of this. It's a challenge, and that's why I'm here. Is is, is if I was to do what I know I can do, I'm not learning. I'm getting. I need to learn. You know, I want to. I want to stretch my hands and find them. <laughs> the process itself is so physical. The size, the scale, this was the, the big challenge. When I drew it out, when I enlarged that piece, um, having started at the head and, and worked bigger and bigger pieces, I saw that size and I was thinking, I can't do this. That's too big for me. I can't even pick that up. You know? A lot of times I didn't think I was going to be able to finish it. It takes a lot to keep uh, doing something that may or may not matter. You know, so you know, convince yourself that it's, it's going to matter. You know, I want to grow, and I want to keep doing what I knew I could do. I didn't want to do what was safe. If one thing was going to happen, it'd be this one. good things are coming out of, of student work here. Columbus State University has really got um, a facility here. We have so much potential in the, the place and the equipment. It really is in even the, the encouragement by the, the faculty to do better and bigger things. All those concerns of not finishing it are gone now. I mean, it wasn't about necessarily so much the object to me, it was the process of getting there. It just made me feel uh, empowered to do more.
Till like one in slumber bound, born to the ocean, I float down, around, into a sea profound of ever-spreading sound.